Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. I'm in the car. It's almost lunchtime now and I'm getting out the door. So I got up this morning. The girls had some friends spend the night, made some pancakes and some sausage for them there. They're happily eating that and then I am going to run out the door real quick here. I got to do a little bit of errand running. So we're going to go hit the farmer's market. I got to pick up a few things for Jane's birthday and like the bank, little things like that. And then we're gonna come home and start blowing up balloons for her sweet 16th birthday. So I'm gonna bring you along, see what we do. But for now, I'm gonna go head out. So let's go see what we can get done. I got a list to accomplish, a few hours to do it. We're gonna go make it happen, let's go. All right, doing the bank, dropping this off, and we're gonna keep moving. All right, now I'm at the farmer's market, the one I went to the last time. I'm hoping they have cucumbers. I don't know, I looked on their website, they said they do, but whether it's the fresh ones or not. So we're gonna just go in and see what we got for anything farmer-like and fresh. Cantaloupe's delicious, cantaloupe. Their corn is really, really good. White corn, I'll probably get some of this. Ooh, look at the raspberries. I'll get some of these. These will be delicious. I'll get some raspberries and some blackberries. All right, kind of hard to film that because it's a smaller place, but they had my cucumbers. So I got a whole little bushel or basket here. So they sell these for 20 bucks. So I got all this last year, I think they were 15. So that's not bad, 20 for that. I got some tomatoes in here and a bunch of zucchini and some corn in the cob. So this is real good local stuff, delicious, very good. All right, first stop done. We're gonna go ahead now into town. I have to go in with the Jaden's glasses, the little nose pieces come off and we've glued it on, it's just not staying on. So I need to return those, see if they say, cause they said they fix them and then um, we're gonna go there. So let's go ahead there next. All right, managed my next destination. I was going to the, to the eye doctor, but TJ Maxx is on the stop, the, the path. So I have to return some items, so I'm gonna just go in there. I'm not gonna shop for anything. It's not even gonna look for anything. I'm just gonna go return. So I'm just gonna return and be right back. This is kind of boring for you. It's not very <laughs> exciting. This is real life. This is what you do. You just go and run errands. So I ran in there real fast. Ran back, ran there. No, that's what you do when you gotta do stuff for the household. So I'm gonna run and return to TJ Maxx. All right, that was easy. Just run in and return. So, all right, very exciting day, isn't it, for Amy? <laughs> it's okay, some days are not exciting. So, now I'm gonna go run over to the eye place to see if they can do something about Jaden's glasses. All right, so that was easy. Just went right in and she just replaced the two nose pieces. So she has two pairs and they keep doing the same thing. The nose pieces break off, so they replaced those. So now I'm gonna go ahead, all right, I'm gonna probably go ahead, up to you know what I need is like starter wood. Would Big Lots have that? I was just in there. I don't know if Big Lots does or not. Hmm. I don't even know if they would or like Dollar General. I feel like Dollar General would, but I could be totally wrong. We don't have a Dollar, there's a Dollar General in our town, but it's all the way in my town. So then if I get all the way in home and it's, they don't have it, I'm just debating where to go. I just don't know if Big Lots have I'm just thinking Big Lots have Let me see if I can do a Google. I'm going to run out of gas to any gas. All the things I need. Um... Well, let me go and I'm going to go run to Aldi. So that's what I do is Aldi for the fruits and veggies because I didn't get it at the other store and then Starwood. I have no idea. I guess I'll just hope that they have it at Dollar General. That's where I'm going to hope so. So let me go ahead to Aldi. I think I'm going to need some gas here eventually. No worse than getting in your car and finding out you're on a little empty. I'm like, why is that? <laughs> I always keep gas in my car. So, all right, I guess we're just going to have to go get gas too. So, all right, let me go ahead to Aldi. All right, we're going to go ahead into Aldi right now. I need to get, I know I need to get two bread, two milk. I'll look for veggie burgers for Brooklyn because she really enjoyed that and then any kind of veggies. And then I'll see if they've started with, I doubt they do, but you never know. So let's just run into all things so we can find. I gotta find a quarter first. Oh, and I'll see what it changed there. It's the time, <laughs> I'm gonna have you crooked. It's the time where you go shopping and you're like, I never go to the store, so I never have change on me. But let's hope we do. Shannon was with me, she'd have a quarter. I just have to, it's my purse is like deep down dark. Is there even? I have all these little thingies. Yay, found the quarter. I think my purse got ripped out there yesterday or today. And it lost the quarter. Okay, I'm gonna take the quarter and I just need two bread, two milk, veggie burgers, and veggies and fruit. So we're gonna be good. Let's go ahead into Aldi. It's kind of busy during the veggie. So I got I had some raspberries here. I should have got them at the other store, but I didn't. Raspberries and blackberries. Got grapes for everybody. I forgot she wanted coffee. So I got coffee there. To, um, one of these strawberries, a watermelon, I got some mangoes, carrots, blueberries, and I got the seed bread. Someone said, told me to try this. So this was something I need to get milk then and then go look for, um, I think that's all they wanted, right? Coffee for breakfast, that was what it was. So, all right, let me go look for some milk and go see if they got any fire starter. And I did get some guacamole here because I didn't get any avocados. Let's walk by the can, this smells, this one smells so good. Coco Co. That smells really good too. They're only $3.99.
They have money. Look at these for $7.99. These are a good deal. That's a good deal. $5.99 for that. I think it's a dollar more at Sam's. Remember I need one of these for the other bathroom? It's a little bit rougher. For $2.55? That's not bad. They usually have good school books. These are $2.99. There's only a few kindergarten ones, but they usually have good ones. That's cute. They have cute mouse pads for $2.99. They even have like essential oils, like a liquid coconut oil, lemongrass. That's not bad for $4.99. They have really cute things. All right, let me go look down the other. I have bathing suits. Oh, my kids would love that. $24.99. That's some giant of those. All right, so I got all my stuff there. I'll just show you what I got here. So I have to go home and do a grocery haul. That works out, right? So we got, I got some seed bread because this is really good and regular bread. This is how we'll do it. This is how we stack it in my car because I don't have a bag. I didn't bring any. So we got some of that because we're out of that. I got one candle. The Coco. Coco Cove. That looks really good. And then I picked this up for two. I think it was like $2.25 because I need one more for the bathroom. And then we've got. Let me put my milks and my coffees in the in those in this in the cooler. I got this cooler here. Alright, cool. It's just gonna have to stay open. I have a little thing here it goes across the back i have zero idea where that is i got a watermelon i picked up a couple mangoes i don't think my kids have ever had fresh mangoes so we're gonna try those out and then got some strawberries and the reason why i'm putting this all in the trunk is because my car is really dirty and i have to go get gas so i have to go over to where the car wash is so i'm thinking i will go get the car washed because it needs it so the trunk will just stay a little bit dirty and that's okay just have to be very careful opening the door and then we got some veggie burgers That'll work. It's not gonna be long, the car is gonna be here. And it's not super sweaty out, so. And some carrots. And some restaurant guacamole. Shove it, Aldi always has the best grapes. <laughs> Let's put them over here. Look at that, that's how you, that's how you make them fit. Grapes, some more grapes. This is a different grocery haul, isn't it? Right there, all right. That's my groceries for a birthday party, just basically and some fresh veggies. So, all right, let me shut this down and then uh, we'll go get some gas and clean the car. All right, got my air blown, so I'm gonna go get some gas and then go wash my car real quick. So we're gonna do it. My hair is crazy. Who's in my papers? All right, let me go do that. All right, so I'm getting my gas. Got that all set, and I just ordered my Thai food. Remember, I wasn't, I didn't get Thai food last week. I'm getting Thai food this week, so I just ordered that, and then I'm um, gonna use my. Mother's Day gift card up before it goes bad. So I just got some Pad Thai and then I think it's like, basically it's deep fried spinach. Oh, so good. So, but I'm gonna go wash my car because it's gonna be about 25 minutes. So the car wash is right across the Gas is down, hold on. All right, and got my gas. Now I have a full truck. My truck shows that it's open. So I need to check that over at the car wash there. I think it's okay. I'm sure it'd be fine. I should do that before I go into the car wash. Let me uh, get forward here. Because there's like a line of cars. Hold on. The trunk is closed. I had to. The bag, the handle was sticking in the door. That's why. So now I'm going to go ahead to the car wash, get the car wash closed. And I'll do a real quick, real quick inside. Like super, I won't even wipe anything down. I'll just do a quick vacuum and a quick let the car wash do it because it's pretty dirty. It's pretty dirty. So let's go do that. All right. Let's do the car wash real quick. Get this done. So enjoy the light show. All right, car is clean. I wasn't gonna wipe anything, and then I'm like, oh, I found some wipes. So my tires, when I got my tires put on, they were just, I, I think it's a lot of brake dust. Probably have to get any brakes. Maybe that's why it does that. So they were really dirty, even at the car wash. So I just took my wipes and wiped those off, and then just wiped a little bit. I didn't scrub or anything, just enough to like, you know, like I see there's a bunch of crumbs here. That's okay, it's it's done. It's done, it has to be perfection. All right, I'm not gonna go get the starter wood. I do need a plug though for my desk. Mm, I might stop at the dollar store and pick that up. Let me run to the dollar store and can pick up my plug and that's, actually I gotta go get my food. Get my food and then I'll hit the dollar store for my plug. And that's it, it's an easy, easy day. Go home, unload, and uh, see what we're gonna do for our Thursday. Thank you. Was there a drink too?
thank you so much. Have a great day. Score. All right, let me go find a parking spot though. All right, so I'm gonna park over here, just a little spot under a tree and just have some quiet time. It's good to have some quiet time and some little bit time to rejuvenate and re-energize, but yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. You wanna see this delicious food? This is the best Pad Thai. Like I've had Pad Thai other places and it has that fishy taste, which is the, I don't even remember what it is. Whatever it is, I've made it before. Oysters, I don't even know what's oyster. Anyways, I don't like that. This one is not, and it it's so, so good. Look at this. I mean, look at that. That is just like so, so good. And then these things are delicious. It's basically, what do they call it? It's like deep fried, it's deep fried spinach is what it is. They call it something like fancy, like, I don't know, tempeh or something, I don't even know. But this is so, so good. Thank you, Lauren and Matthew. This is my mama's day present. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy it thoroughly. So I'm gonna eat here and take a little break and then uh, I'll see you in a few. Maybe we'll chat in a little bit. Let me just get a few bites because it's so delicious. Right, that was so, so good. Like, I love, I love, I don't wanna say love because I don't love Boon Chu. I really enjoy Pad Thai from Boon Chu. That's a better way to put it. She shouldn't love anybody. She should only love God is what she should do. But, oh my goodness, I'm like, I guess I'm the only one. Well, Lauren, you know what? Lauren has a love for Boon Chu. The girl doesn't have a love for bean chew. The girl, Jaden, I think she'll eat there, but they just don't like love it. I shouldn't say love, like it, like Lauren and I do. So when you when you like something, it's like your favorite place to go and you never get to go. You're like, all right, I need to sneak away and go. So I'm glad to go. So thank you, Lauren and Matthew. And I have stuff to take home, which is so good. It's so filling. You eat it and you're like, oh my goodness, that was like a whole lot of food to have. And it's not so great heated up. It is, but it like absorbs the liquid. It's perfect when you eat it, but when you um, go to heat up, it's kind of whatever, you know, it's not, and this obviously is not gonna be so good if you reheat it, but I will take this home, the kids can all have some deep fried, I mean deep, it's not deep fried, they call it something like, is it tempeh? I know they do it at the Asian places. Basically it's deep fried vegetables. Deep fried spinach. Um, yeah, I think you could put anything in it. You could literally put a mango in here. Deep fried would be delicious. Any kind of food would be delicious. So what a good day today. All right, so my day, Lauren's got, she's hanging out. The kids are having fun, chilling. It's, we have church tonight. So all I have to do is I'm gonna hit the dollar store and get a plug and then take everything in. I won't do a grocery haul because you saw it on the back of my car and then that's it. We're just gonna get ready for church, go to church tonight and then we'll probably do balloons. Well, probably because there's a bunch of girls there. They can blow up some balloons. We'll blow up the balloons for Jane's birthday and then tomorrow we'll hang them up in that. So we'll just do that. That's gonna be our day. It's so simple, it's so easy. Some days are like that. It's not every day is doing things. Sometimes it's just taking time for yourself. And you know, even the little running errands, like if I had to take kids with me to do that, it's just a lot of extra. It's a lot of extra. <laughs> so, and they don't want to be dragged around from place to place to place to place. So, but I'm glad to get it done. Glad that they're having fun, doing good. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let me go ahead home and then uh, dollar store. So let me go ahead to the dollar store and then uh, we'll head home. So, all right, let's go. All right, so I did stuff at the post up, but I think there's something there for Madeline. So I have a package here. I got a message from, um, let me see here. Uh, actually, I'll just see when it's home. Anyways, I'll see when it's home, but I think it's a little gift for her. So I'm going to run Dodge and look for a plug, maybe fire starters. I don't know. The reason I'm getting fire starters is because I got wood from Greg's shop and it has been sitting outside, so it does get wet. We were trying to start on 4th of July and like nothing was lighting. Everything was wet because everything's wet and damp. Paper was wet, it felt like. So I'm going to see if they have those little fire starters. They might, and then I just need a plug because my desk area there. I don't have like a bunch of things to plug in and there's no one in her room. So let me run in here real quick. Then we're going to go ahead. Home. Let's see what they have here. <laughs> a little sloth. A little llama. Me and a little sloth for their little, um, their houses. Where, what else can I get in their little houses? A little bunny? I don't know. It's going to be the end of summer. I'm not going to find anything. So a lamb. Hmm. I guess we could just get a llama. A little llama and this would be cute. A llama and a sloth. Oh, like right there. Fires. Look at they do have them. Smoking. So right here, just a fire starter, right? Five dollars. Look at that. That's all we needed. All right, let me get this in a plug. Someone said Dollar General has cute pictures. They do have cute pictures. Oh, that's really pretty. I'll match my upstairs. 
That's really nice too. I do have cute stuff. Oh, these are really cute. $10. Mm. That's really neat too. All right, not too much. They got some cute stuff down here. These little cold drink things. Lots of baskets. Lots of baskets. Oh, they have lamps too. Hmm. They're literally $18. Oh, there's the plug-in kind. We just saw Hobby Lobby for a minute. Oh, there's some up there too. Look at those. Hmm. I might, isn't that funny? It's like $16. Not bad. I guess we'll see. The black one's not bad. I need a white cover though, not the creamy one. So, all right, let's go look for a plug. The point of being here. Not down here. Hmm. It's probably down here. I just totally walked away from this. Yes, this is where it be. Solar. Hmm. I need a plug. There's like an orange one. I still want an orange one in my living room. Hmm. All right, guess they don't have one here. That's okay. I will just wait till I go to Walmart. No big deal. Make sure there's that one up here. It's all car stuff. All right, I guess I just get my llama, this, and my fire starter. All right, out of the dollar store, so now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm finally going home, so I'll go home and then let's go see what we gotta do there. All right, I just got home. Let me show you real quick. There is stick, we have stick bugs. Do you guys know what a stick bug is? I've seen a few here. They're like all over the place. Let me show you this one. Look at this thing. It looks like a real stick. Look at that. Isn't that kind of cool? Kind of neat. For those of you that don't have stick bugs, we had them um, had them in Michigan. And then here, we see them a lot, which is weird. Like, I was, we were in the pool, like two got on the kids. You know, they don't like that. And we just saw that one on the side of the house there. So, oh, ah, you're conditioning him home. All right, I'm gonna load, put my groceries away, just put them in the refrigerator, and then the kids are all out in the pool, enjoying some sunshine. So let me go put this stuff away. All right, so that's it, it's easy. My spaghetti sauce is made, which is good. I just have to boil my pasta and then I'm calling it a day. Well, look at that, I'm gonna turn that on right now when I talk to you. I've got some veggies here to put in the microwave. We've got bread and butter. And easy dinner. So, I think I'm gonna close today's video. Turn this on. It's gonna be spaghetti. That's what we're gonna have for dinner. I think mangoes do you leave out. I don't know the story. I'm assuming. Mm, I'll better put them for dinner for now. You probably leave them out, but. We will take care of this tomorrow. Sorry, I'm talking and doing something. We will take care of those tomorrow by uh, putting them, cleaning them, all that good stuff in here. So, all right, what else? Hold on, I got a few more things to do that I'm gonna bring you over here. All right, so I am done for my day. I'm gonna bring Maddie's little gift over here. She's outside swimming, so I want her to be able to see it and then I'll share with the viewer that got it for her. So, good day, great day, done. It's like three o'clock now. My kids are on the pool. I might go up there with them a little bit for, for them, but I have to do a little bit of video editing here, so I'm not here all night. So let's read our psalm for the day. Psalm 144, prayer for rescue and prosperity. Blessed be the Lord, my God, and my great strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my steadfast loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower and my rescuer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. Lord, what is man that you take notice of him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a mere breath. His days are like a shadow that passes away. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains and they will smoke. Flash lightning and scatter my enemies. Send out your arrows and confuse and embarrass and frustrate them. Stretch out your hand from above. Set me free and rescue me from great waters out of the hands of hostile foreigners who surround us, whose mouth speak deceit without restraint, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Mm. Do you ever have people around you who speak deceit and they don't stop without restraint? 
Our prayer is gonna be to stretch out your hand, right? Send out your arrows and confuse and embarrass and frustrate them. I will sing a new song to you, God. Upon a harp of 10 strings, I will sing praises to you who give salvation to kings, who sets David, his servant, free from the evil sword. Set me free and rescue me from the hand of hostile foreigners, whose mouth speaks deceit without restraint and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Let our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, and our daughters like corner pillars fashioned for a palace. Let our barns be full, supplying every kind of produce, and our flocks bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Let our cattle bear without mishap and without loss, and let there be no outcry in our streets. How blessed and favored are the people in such circumstance. How blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored are the people whose God is the Lord. There's a great new song. It's a newer song, the, um, the joy of the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy, I think it's just called the joy of the Lord. Pretty sure it's just called joy of the Lord. Joy of the Lord. Yes, joy of the Lord. Great, great song, and just a good thing to listen to. And just like, yeah, that's your strength. That's what we hold on to. We're holding on to the Lord, even though when things get bad and you just feel like you don't know how to deal with them, or you just like, how do you even deal with the circumstances when you have your enemies? coming without restraint, whose mouth speak to see over and over and over and over again. What do you do? When those, you know, pray and Lord, send out those arrows, confuse, embarrass, and frustrate them. Keep me protected because why? Because we are the people whose God is the Lord. Mm, that's right. That's why I remember that today. So, all right. So you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be, I don't, I don't know if I'll do gather your fragments. I kind of will, but it's going to be preparing for Jaden's 16th birthday. So we got some balloons to blow up, things to make and some food to make and all that produce. I'll probably chop all that up and get that ready too. So, all right. You have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.